Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the first vlog of 2020 or welcome to the first vlog of 2020. I need to learn how to speak once again. I haven't vlogged in a very, very long time. Today I am having one of those days where it's like one of the first days of the new year and you literally just like are resetting your life, like literally hitting factory reset on life and it's gonna feel really good. I am gonna be clearing out my beauty stash this afternoon. So bathroom, second bedroom, um, I call it second bedroom, there's no bed in it. Whatever. And also sorting out my rail and all of that because everything is a state. So that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. I'm just about to pop out for lunch with Lauren and once I'm back, I'm going to get stuck into that. I thought I'd show you my outfit before I go though because it's kind of cute. It's very like laid back cash style. My Christmas tree is still up. I know we're literally like on the 2nd of January or whatever so it can stay another day but um, that is on my list to sort out as a priority along with the beauty shirt. But this is my outfit. The top is from Zara. It's like a sleeveless kind of roll neck. I really like it. It's very thin. The roll neck, you can squish it to sit quite far down, which I love because I really don't like roll necks that are very, very high up on your face. I then have these, I think these were Topshop trousers. They're very like slouchy, comfy, almost like pajama trousers, but they're not. So you can kind of have them as loungewear. I guess they are loungewear but you can have them as like wearing out the house or just wearing in the house as like pajamas and then i've thrown on my mango coat again i don't know if this is still in stock but if it is i will link it and if not i will link similar and then my gucci trainers i haven't worn these in ages and i got really into wearing them over uh, the christmas period so yeah that is the main bulk of my outfit and i also have this bag which is still open which is annoying um but lots of like nude neutral tones I don't really know I might look back at this outfit and be like that was an awful outfit but I just wanted something comfy today but that looked kind of like I was dressed in case I needed to go out which I am so on that note I'm gonna go to lunch and I'll be back with you to do some serious organizing cleansing all of the good things I'll be back with you in a little bit to do that changed into something well a top that is much much warmer because it is freezing today it's literally like the darkest grimmest day i've ever seen like you can see that it just doesn't it's not cute outside honestly by the clouds i would think it's gonna snow and i hope it doesn't me and lauren were just talking about how shit snow is so hope and pray but yeah i have changed into this top which is from asos i'll show you in the mirror so high neck long sleeves it's got a little tie bit around the waist and I've just tucked it in. These are a little bit see-through but I don't really mind because I'm just kind of having a bit of a lazy day today. But yeah, this is so much warmer than the top I was wearing earlier because as you will have seen it literally had like um, no sleeves. So it's very chilly coming back into the flat. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing for sorting out my beauty stash. I've also put my hair up because I always find I get shit done a little bit more if I've put my hair up but um, yeah, it's just a little bit out of control at the moment of having something done to it tomorrow which you will probably see in the next vlog so yeah i need to redo my makeup i feel like there is a patch here that's definitely rubbed off <laughs> not cute well at least i'm going back into my bathroom to do stuff i think it's from where i was taking that zara top off every <laughs> it's literally rubbed my makeup off so bad okay let's do this <sighs> i'm not ready for this Cute. 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 <laughs> it is just not cute. Look at that. So I need to sort all of this and then I also need to sort in here. Which is gonna be really interesting. I have not been looking after this over Christmas, so <sighs> I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> I also have my plant in here because my Christmas tree has taken over the spot. And then I have this drawer, which gets so heavy that if I don't open this correctly, I will be guaranteed to break a nail. This, I honestly haven't touched since I moved in and it was originally organized. So this is actually probably gonna be the easiest bit if I'm honest. And then that's Ryan's drawer. Ugh. That is horrific. That is actually disgusting and it needs sorting today. 
So let's do this. God, it's actually hard to close. Wow. We also have lots of things that need sorting out. This is already kind of ready to go. Um, it's a lot. But yeah, this room is my priority because this is the room that Ryan and I kind of share more than any other room. So yeah, this bathroom needs to be neat and tidy. Definitely need to make space for him to put his things because this is getting a bit out of control and the unorganization of this room is making me a little bit sad, I'm not gonna lie. So let's do this. I am gonna start here. I think I should just get everything out probably. I don't know. Hmm. Hi. So step one, I'm literally just gonna get everything out and just have a good old sort through and then kind of put my things that are priority back in and then everything else just needs to be sorted through. getting places this is much neater than it was fortunately my makeup bag which i very rarely make changes to at the moment i love everything that's in it uh it actually fits into this um nook of the drawer so i've got the palette that i use all the time underneath it because it never fits into any makeup bag I've got my other palettes that i use daily here sharpeners deodorant cotton pads this is a tin that my retainer goes in uh, and then we have a little measury thing yes yeah, so that's the top drawer and then we have the second drawer i'm very pleased with this drawer this drawer was an absolute state before we've got like girl shit under there little masks eye masks and stuff here more masks here more masks, more masks, uh, SPF, moisturiser, which I love, but I don't use moisturiser every day, so I decided it doesn't need to be in the cupboard. Loads and loads of hairbands. And we've got backups of some of my faves here and bubble bath that needs to be used. Uh, so that's that drawer. We have a whole load of stuff here that I need to sort through, and most of it I don't love, so I'm going to talk through that in a sec. And then we have the cupboard, which is looking so much better than it did before. So this is all my, like, daily skincare here and then we've got things that are like also my skincare routine but i don't use daily up here this is where my stack of halo pads is gonna go that will usually reach up to the top so um yeah i just need to collect a few more out of the wash i found another one whilst i was actually doing my clear out which is slightly disgusting but anyway my olaplex products uh another mask which probably could go into the drawer but it kind of fits well up there and i like the way the drawer looks so i'm leaving it another eye cream which could go in the backup bit but the backup is looking a bit full and then a couple of minis for when i travel and i've also made some space for ryan stuff which i'm not mad about because uh actually i'm gonna move this but for the most part this section is very <laughs> aesthetically pleasing so yeah kind of don't mind him having a little section that's gonna really annoy me that's not there we go not mad about that these two are mine of course there wouldn't be a whole shelf for him because uh i have too much stuff but my spf uh is there and also a toner the spf could now go back up there i kind of put it down there because there wasn't enough room for a second but i kind of want to keep it very much at my reach because i'm really trying to just like make sure i put this on every single day and i've been really good with it so far so i don't want to move this really out of reach because i'm scared i'll forget about it and then i also just moved my cotton pads in here because i had enough space and this area is getting very full so i just thought that would be a good idea seeing as we have the space for now they can go in there and i'm quite happy with this so far over here oh we have that can go in the cupboard <laughs> that, that's probably gonna really annoy me but oh i'll deal with that in a second so we've got lots of body spray stuff which i need to sort through and um, this i just want to put in my drawer of 
dreams because I do really love this but I just don't use it every single day and I don't want to just like use it up for the sake of it because it's really lovely it's basically like uh, the black opium scent in a body oil it's literally divine so that's going to go in my drawer I think some of these are going to go in my bedroom um, I really like this little pot with everything in it and I love these fragrances so I want to keep them out this is going to a new home because the last time I used this uh, Lauren and I literally watched my face go from like normal olivey skin tone to bright rashy red so yeah my skin did not like this at all so I'm gonna be finding a new home for this uh, it's the Glossier Milky Oil uh, waterproof makeup remover if anyone is wondering what the hell I'm talking about whoops this that I just knocked over is the Clarins SPF 30 for your face it literally leaves the worst white cast and I only used like the recommended amount of SPF that you're meant to use and it literally made my face look this color uh, and I really did not love and <laughs> I actually left that in my cupboard to remind me to tell you guys about this when I did this video because I really wanted to um, kind of give a little bit of an opinion on the things that I'm not keeping like I talk about things I love all the time this I have zero opinion on I need to try it but I just don't know if I'm gonna get around to it and I don't want it to be wasted so I'm making some tough decisions today guys this is empty I've got some empties here which I also left in the cupboard uh, because I wanted to tell you guys about this I mean this you'll know about I use it all the time I love it so much um this was newer this was in my most recent skincare routine this product i cannot say the name of it's the clinique freshly pressed daily booster with pure vitamin c 10 percent it looks disgusting now that i've used it all up but this was amazing and i really loved using it in the morning as part of my morning skincare routine definitely will be getting another one but yeah i just want to tell you that i've used this up so if you don't see me using it for a little bit that's why because i don't have one this i really like actually i just really love using my oskia um face tanning mist so that's going to go to a new home this I have zero opinion on just felt like it did nothing this i haven't tried um and i kind of just don't want it to go to waste so i'm just gonna make sure a friend has that this i need to try so that can kind of go to the side because i'm not actually getting rid of that now this i think i want to put back in the cupboard somewhere maybe on ryan's shelf because ryan doesn't use it so yeah this I like but I'm just not using it at the moment because I have so many moisturizers and I'm kind of not sure what to do with it so yeah but it's fairly fresh so I feel like this could go in my backup drawer maybe basically guys the aim of this is just to not waste too much and to keep everything you know fairly I don't know fresh make sure nothing goes out of date you know all those good things trying to be good with my stuff and not just have too much excess you know the drill so yeah, maybe I'll pop that like that. Kind of, that's kind of annoying me. Mm, mm, that doesn't fit. It's like a game of Tetris. I want to pop him there. It's a he. I don't know why I just decided that. Why does it have to have a gender, Suze? Why? Why? Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that like this. I actually find this drawer really aesthetically pleasing with everything stacked up. And that's kind of making me quite happy that this matches these. So uh, I'm happy with my decision. I just don't know where the little orange guy goes. Oh, better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. I feel like that one's bigger than that one. Honestly, you guys, once I get started, it is literally hideous, the obsessiveness that I have um, with stuff like this. Yeah, so, uh, where was I? Yeah, this I have no opinion on. I haven't used it yet, but don't want it to go to waste. These I just haven't used in such a long time. I think I'm going to put this. This is fairly fresh. I'm going to put this in my archive. This is so old and I haven't touched it since like last January. Um, and I actually feel like my cousin might like these two because they're completely fresh. Like this, don't get to use it all the time. Just needs to go to a better home before it like gets a bit gross. This I just really don't love. There are some products from Drunk Elephant that I adore and then some things that just don't work for me and I just kind of find their ethos on skincare a bit weird. It's kind of like if you're not using all Drunk Elephant skincare then you're basically doing it wrong and that's why your face doesn't like it and I just... I don't want to use all drunk elephant skincare so it's fun that's not the way to like make a good product range so yeah i'm gonna see if anyone else wants that before it grows gross because balm cleansers tend to get a bit gross uh, very quickly so yeah those bits i'm not keeping then i'm just going to tidy up this area sort through my brushes they need a clean but yeah so just need to sort through that uh find homes for the random crap like this and then we should be all good for in here. I say that, uh, I'm lying. This needs to go into the drawers in the other room. This I haven't decided what to do with. This is a load of fragrances that I haven't touched in a while. That's stuff to give away. That's a dirty uh, 
face halo that I found. This, this was in my tan crate, which is why the top of this Joe Malone box, this poor Joe Malone box is like yellow. I found all of these. I need to use these. This is really pleasing. I kind of want to store them in a way that I can see them because I would find that really aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to decide what to do with that. But yeah love a beauty blender so that was good i forgot about those i've got bath oil i really hate bath oil it just means my bath needs to be cleaned way more than i'd like to clean it yeah fragrances i think i'm going to store a couple of these like these two and then maybe see if the rest can go to a good home because i just hate not using things well i do like this though so i might pop that one. Oh, i like this one too though Ugh. i might store them We'll see. I also have a pile of makeup bags which need to be sorted. But apart from that, I'm doing really well. I don't regret starting this at all, not one bit, no. Not all. Never. Down here is also very neat. I don't think I got to show you this, but this area is a bit of a state. This is where I keep my fake tan mitts and all of that stuff. Ignore the bucket being there. That needs to go back in the utility room. Why is that there? Yeah, so we have all of my fake tans at the front. These are my most used. They're all Bondi Sands tan. I think this is an old one. It's been discontinued now. Replaced with this, I believe. I think it's that one. Um, this one is one of my absolute favourites. The, the Bondi Sand Aero Self Tanning Liquid Gold. These are all at the front. Those are the ones I use the most. I've got my mitts here. I've got a couple of other tans. We've got Isle of Paradise and then a Saint Tropez like invisible one, which I do kind of want to try. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to see how it is. I'm never like one to pass up for the chance to try a new tan, which could be the shit. So yeah, then we've got some shower gels and lotions, loads of shampoos. I'm a fan of Bleach London. Like I do find some of these a little bit drying, like all of their purple ones, but sometimes it's just necessary for your hair. Um, I've got the beer shampoo by Bleach London, which is uh, basically like a strengthening shampoo for your hair. Does it do anything? I don't really know. We've got this, this is almost used up and I find it really pleasing, like the way it looks. It's the reincarnation mask from Bleach. Um, I've got this, which I'm using a lot at the moment. It's the Christoph Robin um, aloe vera hydrating mask for your hair. I really love him as a hairstylist. He did my hair once and it was incredible. It literally has never looked so good since that day. And that was like five years ago. I've also got the IGK antisocial leave-in hair mask. Love, can't wait to use that on my whole head very, very soon. You'll understand why soon. <laughs> Got a IGK Bad and Bougie uh, conditioner, Orbe conditioner. I've got a random SPF here. I don't know why that is actually there. I probably can move that. I've got a body lotion from Sasha Juan. And yeah, that is pretty much it. But all of, I really like to have like shampoos and tans kind of out and I don't like them stored in the other room because this is the place where, in my opinion, they belong. So I like to keep them in a little crate down here. Basically, I haven't really done any clearing out of any kind in this flat since I moved in. So it's just been good to kind of have a look at everything and reassess whether I'm actually using things. And that is definitely the case for the makeup in the next room. I literally haven't sorted it out since I moved in. So I pretty much know that like everything in the bottom drawer pretty much needs to go because I've taken everything that I really love using out and it's either in my kit or in this set of drawers or it's in the basket waiting to go back into that room. So that whole bottom drawer is pretty easy to sort out. Uh, it's the new in drawer at the top, which you will have seen. And that is a lot. It's gonna be hard work. I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, that's not the spirit. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to this room not being a shit hole. Jesus. This is the bottom drawer that I think I showed you earlier. It does kind of annoy me that I've got to this stage, I'm not gonna lie. I'm one of the few, or so I hear, I'm one of the few people that are signed to Gleam that is really selective over like the stuff that I have from my PO box and all of the stuff that I take home with me. So the fact that this drawer looks like this and this drawer down here is still like, it's annoying, I'm not gonna lie, because I've been so selective and I feel like in the run up to Christmas, things got a bit crazy and a little bit out of control. And I think I was being less selective and going forward, once I move, this is not gonna be the way we're doing this. So I am just gonna be absolutely ruthless at these couple of drawers because everything that is in this, oh, this crate here, 
which has come from the bathroom I want to find a home for because I love it and I've been using it so that means that I need to be really ruthless with what is going on in these drawers and if I can get to the stage where Ryan can have another drawer in this flat then that would also be goals because I just feel very greedy so yeah let's get started this definitely breaks me out by Terry terribly donsley sun glow definitely breaks me out so sad because it's beautiful the uh, cc serum and sunny flash though beautiful not to be confused with that do i want to smell like grandma's i'm not sure i don't know if this is the life for me you know it smells like baby lotion that's what it smells like weird i don't know say it has to get worse before it gets better I think I've hit that point this is my no pile which is good going but this is what I want to keep and this is the stuff from my new in drawer that I also want to keep so I'm just okay I'm gonna have to do this a second time cool no biggie look what I did look what I did mm, so clean you're missing the point. So organised. You're missing the point. Oh, this? This is the point? Yeah. I have stuff. <laughs> you have stuff. <laughs> Looks good. Guys, I have done it. Look. Oh my goodness. Right, so I had to stand all of my foundations up because lying down, um, they are just too much. And fortunately, this drawer is very, very deep. So I can fit everything perfectly standing which has really really helped me out because before this area was looking a bit crazy and these didn't have a home and these did not have a home these were all my glitters which i don't like to get rid of because when i do my friend's makeup for pride or christmas it's always handy yeah so we've got everything from my beauty blenders my eyelashes my palettes lipsticks a few like skincare bits at the back foundations glitters all the eyeliners all of the base stuff like all of my backups everything some perfumes over there everything is in this drawer now the only things that i have left to deal with are some hair bits which are here there's a few more rejects um we're looking at a much smaller pile now because ryan kindly put everything in bags for me but i've got some hair bits and then some skincare bits that i want to give to people i have got few bits here that I just need to sort through the brushes I think I'm going to put in my makeup kit for when I do my friend's makeup and the little um jar I'm going to use in the bathroom I've got two very moldy matte lipsticks that need to go which you would have seen earlier like I always show what moldy matte lipsticks look like or moldy lipsticks in general you can't see that very well because of the color this one's worse this one's way worse but I always show them in videos because I never used to know when people used to say like you should clear out your makeup like every so often every so like six months blah 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 and you know because things go off and i'd be like i don't know what the fuck a moldy lipstick looks like and then one day i found i think it was mac patisserie in my drawer and it looked like this and it wasn't as visible because it was a lighter lipstick but fortunately i did realize and with this one i just knew immediately i was like whoa and then the other one down there is like a rosier pink like a warmer pink and that one's also starting to go so they can go found loads more bondi sands so that's going to go in the bathroom it's probably going to really mess up my crate situation because it's very neat but i use it up so quickly that it's fine i've got loads of my Guerlain eye masks i love these there's already one of those in the bathroom drawer so these i'm going with that i've got the amelia amelia right amelia right amelia right uh, transforming body lotion this stuff is amazing for the like little bumpy bits on my arm i love that 
this I thought I'd put this back in my bathroom rotation for when I'm a little bit more blemish prone I found two of these La Roche Posay um, serums these are the B5 hyaluronic serums I think I don't have a pipette for them which is very annoying however these are very very good serums so I'll probably use a pipette from one of my other hydrating serums once it's run out but um, yeah I think these are like the high street dupe for the Dennis Gross hyaluronic serum that I use and I thought I'd keep them because I used to really love this so I'll pop those in the bathroom found some Sarah Chapman spot stickers in there I've got loads of the one day self tanners we've got shimmer ones and matte ones um, and they look cool so I need to give them a go they've got ones for your face as well which are really small but I just wanted to keep those separate and give them a test I've got some makeup bags that need to be housed and then just like lots of recycling uh, bits of like rubbish and stuff so oh and a new mitt I've got a new mitt and tan eraser I thought it might be worth keeping just in case I have a little mishap which I've never had so far but just in case so yeah that's the few last bits I've got to deal with and then up here we have a poorly drawer <laughs> there's been a leak actually I'm surprised there's only been a small leak and then this is also the drawer that I've been storing like birthday cards and hiding things from people for their Christmas presents in so I have a rogue birthday card that's like left in there but yeah it's all looking pretty good now the rest of the room is kind of a mess but you know we're there we're there we're basically there almost there we have it we still have a little way to go but i haven't seen the side of this dresser in months <laughs> it's really nice so now i just have this to sort and i'm not gonna lie i am not feeling doing this today so there will probably be a round two uh which i will be back with you for literally probably in about five minutes but it'll probably be like five days for me but yeah i've made a progress not that you would believe it i'm really looking forward to doing this rail literally just hanging in my wardrobe all of this festive stuff and putting a fresh new rail of winter clothes on there for me to wear over the next few weeks mm. i'm gonna miss the sequins but it's definitely time so i'll be back with you in probably a day or so uh probably looking slightly different because obviously tomorrow is hair day so i don't know what i'm gonna look like <laughs> in the next part of this vlog but i'll be back with you for more organizing later this week <laughs> Hello everybody, so today it is Saturday. I am picking up the camera again to do some more home cleansing. That's what I'm calling this now. I am doing my dressing room today and also the living room slash my kitchen living room area. If you've watched the vlogs, you will know it's all like one area. So I wanna do my dressing room and that. My bedroom is pretty like okay. And my bathroom is still really nice and organized and tidy. But the main thing is the Christmas tree needs taking down. So I'm gonna do that. But I just wanted to get started with my dressing room because it is just an absolute state. Um, I'm in my dressing gown, by the way. If it looks like I'm in a coat, <laughs> I'm in my dressing gown. This is from ASOS. It's literally like the snuggliest thing. It's so nice. I love it. So yeah, I'm just wearing a Zara plain like v-neck t-shirt. I've been out for brunch this morning, so I feel like I'm a bit askew. Zara t-shirt, uh, Daisy Estee Lalonde necklace, Zara leather joggers, ASOS slippers, and then my little ASOS coatigan slash dressing gown. I was wearing my mango um, coatigan out for brunch and I came in and I didn't really want to take it off because it's a bit chilly. So this is like the perfect alternative that doesn't make me look as much like I'm wearing a coat indoors. Right, so it's time to tackle this. I'm gonna put you on one hell of a time lapse. I hope you're ready. We are looking a little bit tidier now. Um, I've just started emptying my rail because what I want to do is pop a load of stuff onto it to wear over the next couple of weeks. Just make a, a nice little mini capsule wardrobe of some kind. I've also started making piles of things to go like in my wardrobe, to return, to depop. Just getting really, really organised for this year. It feels good. The depop is coming back this year, guys. I'm very, very excited. Uh, it's been a good like 
three years I think since something was last listed on Depop um but I've got like a really good team now and I feel very very confident in our ability to like actually get shit done so I'm very very excited I've also got a pile of new basic bits which I need to just add to my drawers I have a drawer which is really aesthetically pleasing and like full of like little rolled up bodies and stuff like that and I do find that I'm going through them quicker and quicker and they're always in the wash so I just decided to pick up a few more of the same style but not all bodies and um, some are high neck some are not that kind of vibe um because I find that's just what I'm wearing constantly at the moment that white t-shirts like really nice easy basic pieces with leather trousers is like my jam for a daily basis and I find you don't have to think about it too much so it is like the goals way of dressing um but yeah I've also just done my shelves I'll kind of show you this at the end when it's all like finished but yeah the shelves are pretty much there um I just popped all of my bags back on here lots of you will have seen this before but yeah um I feel like I'm just becoming way more of a shoe person than a bag person there are so many pairs of shoes in this storage cupboard I think when I move I might have to find a different way to store shoes because I'm sure there's something that is more um effective than this so we might be saying goodbye to the glass cabinets at some point in the next kind of couple of years because I actually think this isn't the most beneficial system for me anymore um it was beautiful when I only had a few items and there was literally like one bit here one bit here one bit here one bit here and then it's like there's four pairs of shoes on that row um yeah so it's just a little bit more crowded than it used to be and I just can't get around that I just really love my shoes especially like this time of year autumn footwear is like just a big passion of mine like I just love I love a heel boot Look at them, they're like my pride and joy. It's just like fancy boots. feeling very worse for worse so uh this video might get cut short at some point soon i really um really need to take the christmas tree down though so that is like my priority and then i think i'm gonna curl up on the sofa in a ball and be very sorry for myself i can just feel myself getting like more and more poorly as the day goes on but the rail is done i'm very happy with it um i've gone for what could be considered a slightly more summery colour palette uh, there's a lot of white in here there's a little bit of blue denim which has gone back in the rail before Christmas was very very full of sequins so I knew it had to have a refresh going into new year I'm very happy with this uh, it's very different to what was on here pre-Christmas kind of like November time it was very blush shades pinks and nudes we've only got this so far which I kind of want to give some attention to so I've put it on the rail this is new it's from Zara it's really cute I'm hoping Oh, I'm hoping we're gonna love it. I think it'll look really cute with leather trousers. So I've popped them next to the leather trousers. This is kind of, this rail kind of sits in two halves. So um, we've got the black coat on the end, which is from All Saints. This is kind of a very universal coat. Oh, I'm gonna mess this all up. It's just very long, very dark. You can't see this very well because this room sucks for lighting. This is my one gripe with this room. And hopefully when I move, this won't be the case. Um, but yeah this room is in an L shape and it's just really really annoying so um yeah you can't see that very well but uh yeah that is the universal black coat which kind of goes with any outfit so I just sat that on the end because uh whatever I wear I can kind of throw that on so it's kind of not relevant but I've got this camel coat in the middle which again could go with most things but it's more relevant to this section kind of immediately around it so I've got a pair of blue jeans which I believe are from Zara they look like this I think these are Zara if not I'll pop the link to them below um because they might be from Topshop I've got two that are very very similar from a different stores so um yeah these might be I think these are the Topshop pair and they're usually rolled up at the bottom which is why they look so long um but I've popped those on the rail because I'm really liking wearing blue denim at the moment but I want to get away from the um 
ripped pair that I keep on wearing because I wear the same pair all the time. I really enjoy wearing something like this with a top like this. This is a new one from Zara. It's one of those basic ones I was talking about earlier. It's like a ribbed um, material. I don't know if you can see that. It's very like fitted and I think that works best with uh, boyfriend jeans because they're very very loose on the bottom and I just like to have if I'm going loose on the bottom I go tight on the top and that is the general rule for looking quite put together apart from with this outfit it's kind of a bit of a in-between outfit and I don't really mind it if I'm honest I think because the top is a little bit thinner um it kind of works but I wouldn't really always put like a very chunky top over the top unless I'm literally lounging around the house in these um because I do think that that makes it look very not pulled together but um yeah this is kind of one of those lazy day outfits but for the most part if I want to look really pulled together whilst wearing these joggers I would go for a kind of tighter top something like these two but I've also thrown a white t-shirt in there next to the coat partly because the white t-shirt pretty much goes with everything so it could go with my two leather trousers that I've got on here it could go with the jeans if I did want to wear it with the jeans and be a more like slouchy fit um, so I've just kind of popped that at the end because I think that's the makings of like a very simple quick outfit um, I've also got this chunky knit from Zara again I actually bought this quite a while ago it's still got the tag in but I've been wearing it uh, which is a long running thing with me and actually a lot of my friends we all end up doing it but this is a really chunky cardigan and I love it it looks very grandma when I hold it up like this but I kind of wear it like off shoulder and it looks really cool with a pair of like blue jeans and then a pair of biker boots like these ones here um so yeah i really like that um i want to get some more wear out of that i've then got my mango coat again because it goes really well with the blue jeans um but also with the leather trousers so i've kind of popped it in the middle just so when i look at this i kind of see outfits very very quickly i've got my black roll neck from asos which i love i've loved this for so many years i've had it forever you've probably seen me wear it about a million times and um, that pretty much goes with everything so it'll go with the blue jeans but also with the leather trousers that I've got on there I've got a pair of leather leggings as well and to be honest it kind of goes with both I don't love wearing a shorter jumper with leather leggings but this one kind of works it's all just very fitted and yeah I kind of like that anyway I've popped this cami in the middle because I think it will lean better towards being worn with the black leather trousers these are quite baggy these ones um, so yeah, I've got leather leggings flung over the top, leather trousers in the middle. I think this would go, because it is like very, a very small, barely there top, it would go quite nicely with the baggy trousers. A bit like this t-shirt and these baggy trousers, it's very kind of like nothingy top and I kind of wear it a bit off shoulder and it just kind of works. So it's that kind of same vibe. I've then got this jumper from Topshop, which is a newer edition to my wardrobe it's very very long i didn't have a ton of jumpers that were like this i did order one from zara and i just didn't love it it just was too chunky and this one's slightly less chunky that um will work best with the leggings that are flung over the top so that's why it's right next to um the leather trousers and to be honest that when i look at this i don't see the exact leather trousers that it is i basically just see the two textures and i really like that so i think on a daily basis that that will really inspire me then i also have this t-shirt this is an old one from Topshop um I still love it it's going to work really well with the leather trousers but also will work really well with the blue jeans and if I want to be really lazy it could work with the leather leggings as well as a more like cash lazy day vibe so really really happy with that and then I've also got this um this is a what do you call it like a midi it kind of is more of a maxi dress on me but it's from Mango it's a knitted like rib texture there you go you can kind of see that um this i bought a little while back they also did a nude one which was gorgeous but the new one just didn't look right on me this got put in my wardrobe in the run-up to christmas because obviously it did not have sequins on it and was not party appropriate in any way but i've brought it back out because i want to get more wear out of it and i think going into like springtime if we have kind of like warmer days i would definitely get wear out of it i think even just at the moment they would look really nice with like a warm snuggly coat and a pair of trainers so i'm definitely looking to get more aware of that because i really like things like that they're just very easy to throw on and make a really pulled together outfit out of very quickly and then down here i've just got a few more bits to sort um so i've got these need to go away 
these are from Zara and I need to try them on. I'll probably be sending them back so I'm just kind of not 100% on them. So you will have seen there were some basics on that rail. Those were the ones that I've kind of, I trust that they're going to be good. But I need to test these other ones. I've then got some bodies from Zara. So this this is all part of the basics um, that I picked up that I was talking about. I've got, did I say Zara? Did, I've got these from Topshop their bodies i've got a white one and a black one and um, they are very very thin i don't know if you can see they're very thin so i kind of don't trust that i can wear them without a bra which is really annoying because they have a very very low back look at that that's the i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but yeah they basically have no back so you can't wear a bra with them but they're not a structured material like the zara ones so i'm not i'm not super confident in them to be honest um, so I need to kind of figure that out and see how I feel. I've also picked up a leather pair of trousers and I just wanted to see how Topshop's compared. So I've picked those up to just test out. So yeah, I've got a few bits to test. Those need to go away. And then I've got some other bits to put away as well that were on the rail. And I decided that this I probably still will still wear, but I just am so used to wearing it now that I don't need it to be on the rail. I don't need it to be like screaming out for my attention. And this pair of trousers, I haven't worn so much, but I just know that they are more of a spring pair of trousers. I can see myself wearing them so much more with bodies than with knits and not with coats. Like, I think this would look better with a leather jacket. This is all clean and tidy. So much better. So now I just have the living room to tackle. The Christmas tree is down. The Christmas tree is down. It's Sunday now. I was feeling very, very poorly last night. So I was literally just like napping on the sofa, had a wag of mama's. I was just asleep most of the evening and I slept so long last night. Uh, but yeah, the Christmas tree is down. The living room is looking a lot neater. Like I've cleaned all of the sides. I just need to mop in here and like sort out all of the area around the Christmas tree. And I've got a few of the little bits left over that I talked about yesterday um, from the wardrobe room. And apart from that, everything is looking pretty good. Although it feels very, very bare without all of the Christmas stuff in it. I feel like I'm moving out already <laughs> because there's just so much less stuff. But I always think, especially like whether you're renting or not, it is good to keep everything quite minimal and clutter free most of the time but I think especially when you're renting because you kind of move about a lot more and actually when I didn't keep on top of things like this there was so much more clutter and moving was way more of a like big ordeal this time around it's going to be so much easier because I have so much less stuff but um yeah I'm gonna just have like a little bit more of a kind of potter around here there's like Ryan's cup on the side and my Rabina that I need to like put away but very very happy with how everything is looking I feel really fresh really organized and really ready for the new year now like I just feel I feel great um on that note I'm gonna spend my afternoon reading this book I've actually read this once before um back in September but I thought this would be the perfect time of year to read this again I lent it to Ryan who's just brought it back so I'm very excited to kind of like just pick it up and flick through and just get a little bit more inspiration I was going through my archive um so on Instagram all of your stories are like saved to an archive and I was going back through loads of stories weirdly looking at my hair from 2018 trying to decide if this by the way this if you made it this far you've now seen the hair um give this video a thumbs up and please still watch uh the vlog on this because it's so fun but i was looking back through my archive uh to look at me when i had short hair just trying to kind of egg myself on to um sort my hair out and i came across a little like snap that i'd put up of um, a couple of the pages from this book and i was just reading through and i was like god that book was great like even just reading like two pages that i put on the story um just made me feel so motivated so i really just wanted to pick it up again so ryan's out doing some house stuff on his house um so i'm just gonna read whilst he's out and chill and just feel really motivated and fresh for new year like i really highly recommend this book if you haven't already read it it's by james clear it's called atomic habits if i didn't already say um but I think that's going to just like really top off my week of organising. I say week of organising. It's not been a week. Huh? Some of the things I say, I watch myself back in the edit and I'm like, you really overread that. That was not a week. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this beauty organising video, like life organising video. I just love a sort my life out vlog. You guys seem to love it as well. Like the views are always really good on them. Let me know if you would like more of these or more videos along this line as I like prep to move because I think there will be lots of like life organising types of videos or just like stuff that i need to do um as i prep to kind of like upheave my life again let me know um any kind of organizational videos that you would like i'm definitely um really up for doing stuff like that so if you have anything that you would like any kind of topics anything like that that you want to see plop them in the comments below because this is the time of year to start asking me for shit but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling now and i'm gonna go love you bye